Hey Jesse, it's uh, 9 o'clock Tuesday evening. I just got your uh, uh, little problem that you're having there, and it's pretty simple. All you've got, um, you've got uh, a nut on top of this piece right here. You've got a nut, and then you've got that piece. Take that nut off, and use just that, use just that piece. Um, you'll notice that it has that the the metal bracket has detents for you to turn that at 45 degree intervals or excuse me 90 degree intervals and it'll lock down into a groove um, you've got too much tension um, on your governor the governor and everything looks like it's set up okay well, this one's a hard one to look at let me get over here to the one that's sitting on the bench so we can get a better look mooch out of the way make a bunch of noise okay here we go not as good a lighting but all right you've got everything set up good there everything's just fine but when you come up this bar this bar right here that nut that you've got on top take it completely off and then put that uh, tall bar piece back screw it back on and just barely screw it on just a tiny little bit um, as you tighten that down excuse me I missed it as you tighten that down it's it's going to pull your throttle up 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 and up okay so watch to get back here a little bit okay as I pull up there goes the throttle that's the action you should have so your stop point your stop point for right here uh, when you've got that turned down is going to be when the throttle is closed okay to where your idle adjustment screw is resting against the stop and then you'll set your idle accordingly after you get to that adjustment that's really all there is that you've uh, got going on there it's pretty simple um, like I say just take that nut off the top and put that other piece back on here and then your bottom one this nut down here you want to adjust for your high idle uh, about the only way to do that is if you've got a tachometer I usually uh, pull the wide open throttle and then I adjust this up until it just starts to move down while it's running get it down below off uh, excuse me I don't even know if I was in the picture there I'll adjust this. Now, this one right now is not adjusted yet. I've got to wait until I get it mounted and get it uh, get it going. But I'll adjust this nut up so that I'll have a maximum throttle adjustment while it's running. See, right now it's going to open, but when it's running, the governor is going to force it closed. It's going to pull it closed. That's its job. It it maintains constant throttle position. So while it's pulling down when the load increases you'll hear the exhaust start to bark that'll start to open up and when that starts to open up it's just giving you more fuel without having to adjust your throttle keeping the engine at a constant speed that's what its whole job is there so like I say pretty simple just take care of that little uh, issue and you uh, should be just fine everything else looks great looks like you've got everything adjusted just fine so Looking forward to seeing the end result. That thing's sitting there putting along. Talk to you later. This is Zippo. I'm out. Later.